During the final intense phase of the Cold War, in 1983, two Russian cosmonauts on an orbiting research mission saw something moving outside their ship and had an unexplainable encounter on their way back to Earth. In Kazakhstan, the spacecraft fails during reentry and crashes, leaving just Konstantin, one of the cosmonauts, alive. He is sent to a remote military research base where Colonel Semiradov, the officer in charge, recruits Dr. Tatyana Klamova, a young psychiatrist who is being investigated for her contentious psychiatric treatment practices. Although she is not informed of the true cause of Konstantin's isolation, she quickly learns that the cosmonaut unknowingly took an alien life form back into his own body. When its host is asleep at night, the creature emerges. She learns from Colonel Semiradov that her purpose is to figure out how to separate Konstantin and the creature because they appear to have formed a fully symbiotic relationship, with the creature residing in the cosmonaut's esophagus and consuming his nutrients while Konstantin has miraculously recovered from his injuries sustained during the crash landing. In an attempt to put Konstantin under stress, Tatyana confronts him by claiming to know he has a child that he left at an orphanage, suggesting that he is a coward who does not care for his son rather than a national hero. Because of this, she learns that the creature is influenced by hormone levels, and that one of the videos she has been shown has been manipulated. As a result, she learns that the creature has been fed by Semiradov, and that it consumes live humans rather than whatever Konstantin eats. The creature appears to its victims in an attempt to increase their level of dread, which causes the human brain to create cortisol, which the extraterrestrial uses as fuel. Shocked and appalled, she approaches Semiradov, who informs her that their true goal is to figure out how to make the extraterrestrial into a controllable weapon. She appears to agree when he asks if she will cooperate. She later takes Constantine for a run around the facility since she has grown to care about him. While he is exercising, she tells him that he has a parasitic monster inside of him and that the military has plans for him. After she shows him the bodies of the people the creature killed and the astronaut who was still alive and in the spacecraft with Constantine, who was not infected because he had cancer, which had gone unnoticed by the pre-mission tests, they decide to avoid surveillance and meet later. It turns out that Constantine knew exactly what the thing did when it wasn't tied to him and that he had an uninvited visitor. Tatyana is taken aback by this information and Constantine assures her that he would stop at nothing to leave this area in order to care for his son. When Tatyana eventually decides she wants to assist Constantine, she plans an escape with the assistance of another medical professional inside the facility. She gives Constantine a syringe filled with medications that mimic Addison's disease, the same illness that the other cosmonauts suffered from. She thinks that by doing this, the monster would be forced to leave and hopefully perish within an hour of leaving its host. Semiradov ambushes them during their escape and pursues them with armed men. Constantine begs Tatyana for the syringe after she is hurt. The alien injects himself, then comes out and murders the troops. Tatyana and Constantine flee, but before they can get too far, Constantine passes out. When Semiradov catches up with them, Tatyana gives up because she understands that Constantine cannot live without the alien because they have become totally symbiotic. In order to drive the now severely wounded creature back into Constantine, the colonel carried it with him. However, the latter allowed the creature to murder Semiradov and his soldiers, thereby freeing Tatyana and himself. However, a resurrected Constantine shoots himself to kill the creature and himself alongside it as the authorities close in on them. Aware of Semiradov's horrific experiments, it is eventually revealed that Tatyana also spent her early years in an orphanage before adopting Constantine's son.